what's going to happen. What up? what up? Yeah. We actually don't know. No, I, I don't. I've heard David Shore say a few things, but only in interviews that other people did. <laughs> so right. I really have no idea. Is there not a red telephone you can pick up? Uh, with your no red, well, there is a red. Actually, actually, there is a red telephone, and it's not connected. Um, and I think they lock everything in a safe at night, don't they? There is actually a wall safe, so we're, we're, there's no way for us to know um, because we are, we are but children. Right. And, and we can't be trusted with no. information. They don't want us to get attached to any ideas. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that you are attached to the idea of working with each other more? Or could you just, you know, angle it? I'll go that far. I'll go that Thank far. You. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I at least you didn't leave me hanging in that. I would hope that it would be reciprocated, but I... Yes. Tell them you love him. Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> he needs approval. I approve. Okay. <laughs> that's his validation for the yeah, day. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Who's so handsome? Who's so handsome? This is a good day. You're the most handsome boy. This is a good day. Um, you guys have the best guest stars on TV as sort of a general rule. Is there anyone you still want to get on the damn show? That just kind of I think Clint Eastwood should have been his father. Are you serious? I'm, you I'm so upset. I, I but now did. he does have a genetically, a, a, a father that is, did they already reveal who that was? Who your by, by now, biological he, father he, was? He, he, uh, no, no. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. Clint Clint, hear me now. That was my... Biological father. That was my sort of fantasy that that would work out. Yeah. You guys have the same eyes. I think it would, you're both tall. Uh, no? Well, good. Uh, there we go. So that's... Uh, that's that's in California. So that should work. Be too bad. Exactly. And I was thinking, you know, um, uh, um, people in that sort of towering position, uh, I, I think they don't have to worry about... They could do... They could, he could do, Clint, 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 Clint could do anything. Clint could be Pope for a day. Who would, you know, no one would bolt for a second. Um, I think our writers are really good at not making the show too soapy, and they're not. There's not make, enough. There's not enough what? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. <laughs> well, yes, there is. Season five. There's more to come. Right. No, but I think that they do a really good job of keeping it exciting and making it difficult. Nobody wants to watch a relationship be really easy and go well. So they um, spice it up in a very intelligent way and not in a soapy, stupid, dramatic way. Um, and, you know, I, I, I just think a lot of people can relate to Four Men and 13 to coming together. I mean, not only because maybe they've had workplace romances, which, of course, millions of people have tried and failed, um, but I think that, you know, just, just the type of people they are and, the, and the, the sacrifices they'd have to make to make it work, people can relate and people find that interesting. But I agree with Jesse that if it's too easy... That can be boring, but luckily the house specialists are very good at not making things easy. And you guys hate working together, I assume, and never make eye contact on Well, that. it's just my trailer never gets any sun because his trailer is seven stories high. I'm sure you've heard he's got a gym and a spa and all that stuff and the recording studio. And it's okay, like I'm happy in my little honey wagon, but I just... The sunlight would be nice, I'm just saying. Can you get the woman some sunlight? She's got to earn her stripes. Like, invite me in to lift weights and record a solo or something. I tan on the top of my trailer. It's great. They knew how they wanted it to go. They didn't know... No, they know where they wanted it to go. They didn't know exactly how they wanted it to get there. Okay. Um, and I think the drug trial was a great uh, tool uh, for that because it's basically forming deciding between you know, his professional career and his personal feelings, which most people, you come to that sort of fork in the road sooner or later. And, uh, and, and I think it adds for great color. Um, and I think it's a good thing. We could get Justin on the show. A little sick Timberlake. That would be so sad. That would his, be so good for you, right? His, his, uh, yeah, and he needs 13 to save him because his vocal cords have been damaged in a fire. You're not just oh, in a Justin fire. Like, and the fire has present, prevented him from wearing any clothing because of the third degree burns. 13 must dress his wounds. Wow. I think it's a good thing I'm not writing. These pitches are winners, and I think you should, you know. That was kind of creepy but poetic at the same time. Just, that's way. how I tend to roll.